Welcome back to lesson number five, art class for beginners. In our previous lesson, we continued to learn how to observe the different shades of color, even if there were shades of gray. And I confess that eggs are most difficult to draw, yet, as you can see, many of you created beautiful artworks. And here are some of those artworks that have been sent to me. You'll probably recognize your own. Well done. And now we'll look at another object. Let's try musical instruments. And they're quite common. You probably have musical instruments in your house. I have paid particular attention to these objects in my own art. Symphony string section cellos. Symphony string section, the violin. And a violin study. This happens to be my father's violin. Rosary Sonata Pasaglia was painted in a prison. To learn more about this artwork and the work that we do in the prison environment, you can look at lookingatthestars.org for more information. Similarly, Archambault, Le Piano avec des couleurs. And one of my favorite subjects is the jazz genre. Trio de jazz. Freddie the Freeloader by Miles Davis. It is your turn. We're going to draw a piano keyboard. But before we draw, we need to observe. When we drew the egg in the previous lesson, we only had black and white and grays to deal with. This time, only black and white to observe. This is a little boring. So let's have some fun with this piano. Does it have to be black and white? Well, no. Does it have to be horizontal? Uh, no. We could twist this piano to make it have personality like this, or like this, or perhaps make it into a colorful piano, or perhaps a colorful twisted piano. Okay, let's take a seat. You can use any pencil or crayons, anything you want. And for this lesson, I've chosen acrylic paints along with a roll of tape. And you will see how I can use tape to create shapes and lines. Let's begin. So here's my roll of tape. And as I'm doing this, you can commence with your own ideas of using crayons, markers, plaster scene. I'm choosing to use this roll of tape so that I can create the keys. And I'll just race ahead here so you can see what I'm doing. And you're probably wondering, what does this have to do with a piano? Well, in just a few minutes, you're going to see how I'm going to use this tape to create the keys. I'm going to use an orange acrylic paint this object and this brush. Now I'll proceed to pull off the tape. 
Acrylic paints dry rather quickly, so this is a safe thing to do. Now I'll do the same thing in order to cover up some of these white bars and you'll be able to see quickly how I'm going to create the black keys. Now I'll color in the spaces here to create the black keys. Now let's pull off the tape again. And watch how the black keys begin to emerge. Let me race ahead again. So there's the start of my piano. There's some areas where I'd like to repaint where some of the paint got underneath. But now I also want to use some of these fancy colors to give the keys a little depth and dimension. I'll use the tape again so that I can create some nice straight lines. Let's try a third color, red, blue, now yellow. And now purple. Now 
and green. Now I want to draw some outlines of these keys. I'm going to use a black marker. I'll do the horizontal lines. Now the vertical lines. So I've touched up some of these keys as well with a little bit of white paint. So the jaggedness of the black keys begins to disappear. So there, voila, is my finished piano. I look forward to seeing what you create. Now, as you know, this is the last class. And now that we're finished in this class, you can complete your artwork at your own speed and pace. And please, once again, send me your artwork to the email address. And because this is the last, I just want to remind you that you can subscribe to my channel for many other upcoming events. And of course, you can subscribe on the YouTube. And I also want to remind you of how thankful I am for your donation to Food for Thought. And in conjunction with the 28-day Ontario-wide shutdown, Gallery Papillon presents one new original art card each day for the next 28 days. A greeting card could be yours for a small donation of $28 or more to Food for Ottawa. So I'm counting down from the 28-day lockdown. And here are some of the cards that have been created thus far. Some of these have already been sold with a donation to Food for Thought. And if you're interested in these or other cards, you can find me on my Instagram at gallery papillon. And finally, as a reminder, I want to re remind you of our vernissage on April the 9th, next Friday. And I'm going to present all of the submitted artworks and I will host an art show, a virtual vernissage. And once again, as that reminder, I will maintain the anonymity of the artworks. And those who have submitted their art to the show will easily recognize their own contributions. This is the second vernissage that I've held since March of 2020 during the pandemic. So we'll see you on April the 9th and I'll send out an invite for that. Have a great weekend.